Philip Schofield quits this morning after 21 years. Presenter shares bombshell statement amid feud with co-host Holly Willoughby and says, ITV has decided the current situation can't go on. Philip Schofield has quit his role on this morning after 21 years as host with immediate effect. The TV presenter, 61, has bowed out of the program following reports of a feud with his co-host Holly Willoughby, with Thursday the 18th of May his last ever show. In a statement released on Saturday, Philip said, I have always been proud to cover fascinating stories on this morning, but recently, this morning itself has become the story. Throughout my career in TV, including the very difficult last few days, I have always done my best to be honorable and kind. I understand that ITV has decided the current situation can't go on, and I want to do what I can to protect the show that I love, so I have agreed to step down from this morning with immediate effect. In the hope that the show can move forward to a bright future, I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me, especially this morning's amazing viewers. And I'll see you all for the Soap Awards next month. Holly, 42, said, It's been over 13 great years presenting this morning with Phil and I want to take this opportunity to thank him for all of his knowledge, his experience and his humor. The sofa won't feel the same without him. Kevin Ligo, ITV's managing director, media and entertainment said, Philip is hands down one of the best broadcasters of his generation and we thank him for his Two decades worth of absolutely terrific television on the This Morning Sofa. This Morning is made by one of the best and most diligent teams in television, who produce over 12 hours of live television each week. We look forward to continuing our relationship with Philip starting with the British Soap Awards in June and a brand new peak time series to come. Holly uploaded a separate statement to her Instagram account which said, Hi everyone. It's been over 13 great years presenting this morning with Phil and I want to take this opportunity to thank Feem for all his knowledge, his experience and his H more. The sofa won't feel the same without him. Holly will return to this morning on Monday the 5th of June having taken an early half-term holiday. Starting Monday the 22nd of May, Philip's dramatic departure from this morning comes after reports that he and Holly were no longer as close as they once were and hardly speak off camera. In a surprising move, Philip broke his silence earlier this month to insist that there has been no fallout with his co-host of 14 years following a string of controversies including Q Gate and his brother, Timothy, being convicted of child sex offenses. As Philip admitted that the last few weeks haven't been easy for us, sources close to Holly told Mail Online that she had no idea that Philip was going to make a statement. They added the first she saw of it was when it was published online. The last few weeks haven't been easy for either of us. As I have said before, Holly is my rock, Phil told The Sun. We're the best of friends, as always, she is an incredible support on screen. Behind the scenes and on the phone. Holly has always been there for me, through thick and thin. And I've been there for her. Bosses were said to be in crisis over the move, with reports that Holly wanted to pull the plug on their working relationship for good. There had been talk as to why their 14-year reign as besties is over. But the male's Katie Hind has been told that at the heart of the fallout is a dispute over. Whether Philip confided in Holly that his brother Timothy, a police IT worker, faced charges of child sex offenses. Friends say Holly was in the dark until Philip took a week's leave from the ITV daytime show to avoid the limelight while the trial took place last month, something he is at pains to deny. Timothy Schofield, 54, was convicted of 11 offenses and was sentenced to 12 years in prison on the 19th of May. Sources close to Holly claimed she was deeply upset that she found out what was happening from a third party. Not so long ago, the pair were undeniably close. The duo became great friends after meeting on Dancing on Ice and they have presented this morning together since 2009. Holly was also described as Philip's rock when he came out as gay live on this morning in 2020. Phil has had a tumultuous few months. 
taking a break from work when his brother was convicted of child sex offenses. Timothy was found guilty of 11 counts of sexual offenses against his underage victim, with whom he watched porn while performing a sex act. Phil took to social media after his brother was found guilty saying, as far as I am concerned, I no longer have a brother. In his statement, released after they appeared back on this morning, Phil said his family have been through a real ordeal, shutting down rumors of a feud. He said, Holly's support throughout meant the world to me, as did the support of my bosses at ITV, my editor Martin Frizzell and the whole This Morning family, including our amazing viewers. And of course Holly has herself been ill with shingles. The pair were once an incredibly close TV double act. After a national television awards win in 2016 they turned up for their slot seemingly hungover. From celebrating the night before. Her support when he came out as gay makes it all the more surprising that Philip would keep. The accusations against his brother a secret. He said Holly was once again his absolute rock. But her friends told a different story. One said. Holly had to find out from someone else which must have been awful for her. She has been so loyal to him. It has been upsetting for her, they have been pretty inseparable for 14 years. They have been through so much together, some happy and some really tough, but now their once super close friendship is no longer. A spokesman for Holly previously declined to comment when asked if she was kept in the dark. Over the court case. Schofield said it was categorically untrue. In Phil's absence from this morning, Holly was paired with Allison Hammond and ITV bosses were said to be overjoyed by their chemistry and are now looking for more opportunities to pair them up. With Hammond set to be front and center of the show's 35th birthday celebrations in October, Holly herself reportedly would like Allison to become her new co host and is said to already have expressed her desire for them to team up to ITV bosses. Kevin Ligo, ITV's director of television, has always been close to Phil, as have its head of daytime Emma Gormley and this morning editor Martin Frizzell, but the star recently lost the support of Frizzell, who was once so staunchly loyal to him that he took the bullets fired at Schofield. Sources close to Frizzell, the husband of former GMTV host Fiona Phillips, said that he was fed up of clearing up Schofield's mess. Recent controversies included his refusal to address jumping the queue to see the late queen laying in state last September. One source said, Martin and Phil were once so close, a real team. Martin is an old-fashioned television man who believes in loyalty but things have changed. In recent weeks, Frizzell was seen sitting in the canteen, with a face like thunder, while the show was on air. Usually, sources say, he would be jumping up and down in the gallery and in the studio. Meanwhile a source close to Holly revealed to Mail Online's Dan Wooten, the fallout with Philip has been going on for quite some time. For Holly there's also a degree of her becoming concerned that some of the scandals connected to Philip are damaging her reputation. There's an understandable element of, I've got to think about my career, too. She's been seeking guidance from, her husband, Dan, Baldwin, and ITV on that front. This hasn't been about the last few weeks, but a number of months. She has always been loyal to Philip and loved working with him. But she's also worked so hard to build her own reputation, so she can't risk Philip dragging her down. Philip joined this morning in 2002 where he co-hosted alongside Fern Britton for seven years. Before Holly joined in 2009, it has also been claimed their feud goes back much further than Qgate and actually began three years ago, when Holly severed ties with their talent agencies. It's also thought that Philip was irked when Holly landed a job filling in for Aunt McPartland. As the host of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, in 2018, the co-stars were once part of the same management, YMU Group, before Holly split from them to start her own agency Roxy Management. However, her tie to her old management became a fraught one as they became embroiled in a legal battle over her future earnings. The case was settled out of court, with Holly earning £1 million from them. Philip on the other hand chose to stick with them and is even a shareholder, starting a
series of divisions between the two. According to the Sun, he is said to earn £1 million from them and is a big player in the group. A source told the newspaper, Holly quietly started to distance herself from Phil back in 2020. The legal issues rumbled on for 18 months but Holly fought for what was right. Even earlier, in 2018, Philip was widely known to be annoyed after Holly was chosen to step in for Aunt McPartland to co-host I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here with Declan Donnelly. While continuing to present this morning with no Holly, Philip admitted he wished he was also hosting The Jungle Show. This only increased Holly's success as a breakout star away from her former best friend Phil. She became the presenter of Take Off with Bradley and Holly on BBC One and launched her own lifestyle brand Wild Moon in 2021. Profitable collaborations followed for the presenter, including with Marks and Spencer, which is thought to have earned her £950,000. Phil has tried to launch his own side projects, such as Game Show The Cube on ITV, but they have time and time again failed to get off the ground.